Today I'm gonna make a video where I'm filming selfie style and I walk up to a mirror, film myself. <laughs> Should we just cut that? Today I'm gonna make a video where I'm filming with my cell phone selfie style. I'm gonna walk up in front of a mirror, do a little how do you do wave, and then the camera is going to mysteriously drift back from my cell phone and do an over the shoulder. And I'm gonna do a what? Into the camera. So the gag is that you think I'm filming the video and then out of nowhere, this mysterious second camera reveals that it's actually filming. And the fun of seeing the video is that you're trying to figure out how it was filmed. The way this trick is normally done is very effects heavy. Um, people will often film themselves in a mirror, drop the camera, and so it's just a person standing in front, and the audience can tell that effects have been used. But I want to do it in a much simpler way that will confuse people and leave them wondering how it was done. The key to a good magic trick or trick video is not leaving the audience with enough information to think they know how it was done. This is going to be a very easy video to film. I'm essentially gonna film it just the way you see it, except I'll have my wife holding a camera just above my phone, and she'll track with me as I walk in, and then she'll pull back over my shoulder and I'll look back. And really the technical secret is that I just have to erase her and the camera out of the footage. So that's the plan. Let's go film it. Wanna go film? Wanna go make a movie? Wanna go make a movie? Yeah, okay. I'm going to use this mirror to film. Um, you know, if, it's a, if it was a big wall of mirror and I'm filming in front of it, you wouldn't have any environment to see that it's a mirror. So having this frame here, um, is gonna lock in that, you know, there's walls, there's an environment, but there's just a small piece of mirror. So it's always good to give the audience those cues as to where they are. This is also a good space because I can walk in like this and then my wife can be filming the secondary camera and she can walk back here to reveal. So if I was in a, you know, a bathroom or a small space, there wouldn't be that room to walk back and reveal. So it's a good space to film. It's hair and makeup time. I get the sponges out. <laughs> it needs to look like I'm filming with my iPhone, but I'm going to secretly film it uh, with this camera because it's a lot wider and gets a lot more of the setting than I have options to crop in on it. Just think, stay with these lines. Okay. Like, keep the stick on these lines okay. and pour it on. Wave, as soon as my arm's like down, okay. go like. And yeah, like make sure to brace it because so it doesn't like slip off the thumb. Yeah, no, that's hard. Okay, so can I put where's the where's the closest thing can hold my hand? That's good. Yeah, just get a little more horizontal. Gotta hold it down. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. And then I go, maybe I take a step. You can just do like, that's like you can just do like and then the thing is, then when we when we wrap the tape, you have to stay there. And I think what I need you to do is then lower it by like a foot, and then just walk back in slowly with me out. That's to get like the footage above the background to, to erase you. But that can be like, do you can just do that as slow as you want, and I can pull frame it. So it's super. Easy. Okay. There's no pressure on that. So I'm filming this one. Yeah. You're just the actor. Yeah. Three, two, one, go.
reviewing the video immediately after we filmed it, and this is the point where I first see what I had in my head versus what came out on the camera. And sometimes it's tough. Like, <laughs> this is one of those videos I'm not sure if it works yet, even after it's filmed. Um, it's a little messy and I don't know if the idea is 100% clear. Um, I think I can get it to work. I think with the right amount of editing, um, it can come out good enough um, to where it'll match kind of what I had in my head. Sometimes things don't work, um, but I hope this one turns out. We'll see. And the video is done. Maple, be quiet. Good boy. Why are you so wound up? I really like how this video turned out and that is surprising to me because when I first brought it into my computer, I really didn't like it. What I really didn't like about how this was filmed is all this messiness um, in the frame right here behind the cell phone. So the cell phone is the most important thing to see and normally I would want to film that very clear, like white walls behind the phone. So my gut told me to refilm this video right when I brought it into my computer. So what surprised me about how this was filmed with all that messiness that I didn't like is that it gives the audience somewhere to look and investigate where that second camera might be hidden. Every good magic trick needs misdirection and that messiness that you'll be looking at and trying to find the camera, that's the misdirection of this video. So I actually hated how this was filmed when I first looked at it, but after editing it and seeing the final version, I really, really like it. The biggest challenge of this video is really just how time consuming the work is. It's a 15 second handheld moving shot. And so I had to paint out my wife and the camera rig for it's like 400 frames. And there's angle changes, there's mirrors, there's reflections. So it's just going in and tediously erasing that frame by frame. Hi. <laughs> Is your fun? Okay. You're too excited. The goal of this video was really just to take an existing concept and put my own spin on it. Um, nothing crazy in terms of the editing. And what I learned is that sometimes the footage and filming that you hate and want to redo <laughs> uh, can turn out in the end and work for the better. So that was a good lesson and I will see you next time. Yeah? Yeah, that's good. Maple, calm down.